Are you ready for anatomy? Today has been a really hectic morning. Um, basically, I woke up and packed up my stuff, went to the gym. Before I went to the gym, I had to stop by and put my um, locker dividers in. And that took two hours because I can't even tell you why, but I was so upset and like annoyed that like i was sweating it's hot okay i'm like freaking out that this thing has been taking me like an hour and a half to figure out it's not tightening i've had like two people look at it at that point um it's literally making me want to cry like dental school <laughs> hasn't made me ball like that bad but this locker thing is about to make me go insane and i'm like cussing and going crazy and i'm pretty sure like i'm sorry to whoever i seemed very irritated um to towards it wasn't towards you i just like literally couldn't figure out this locker thing and it was taking like two hours and i was sweating and it was so much stuff outside of my locker like going crazy but anyways um i figured it out at the end and then i then i went to the gym then i um worked on some wax up that i had to do for thursday and that was basically <laughs> about how anatomy lab went this week so i'm gonna kind of go into it um basically we were able to dissect um a human being which was insane um we each had a group and um the group basically helped in the dissection and we had medical students that would help us along which was pretty cool um yeah it was honestly an experience for sure um when you first walk in it's a little ominous because there's just a bunch of body bags um uh, laid out and um then you open one <laughs> and then um it's a lot at first um you kind of realize that like i don't know i mean i kind of realize i don't know what everyone else thinks because i i can't speak for everyone else but I don't know you just kind of realize what life is really it's kind of like an eye opener but also um, once you start getting into the dissection you kind of forget about everything and you're just trying to find the veins and the arteries and the nerves so um it's a lot to take in at first but once you get over that it's kind of like okay let's get this done so what we did was we started this week on the neck area um, we get a lecture prior to the um, dissection, so we kind of learn a little bit before we start. Um, and then we have three hours to dissect, which is pretty long. Um, we had to take the bus because it's on the other campus of USC, so um, we did that, and I'm sure you saw clips of that. Um, yeah, so we did the neck uh, region um specifically i don't know the names because i has to still study them but um my donor had a lot of adipose tissue so we had to kind of swim through and try to find it um, my donor also had a 
enlarged thyroid so we had to kind of look under that because it kind of pushed some um, structures down so it's really interesting because each donor is different and like when you walk around and go see your classmates donors you see how different it looks um, it's kind of crazy and it just shows how unique each person is and yeah, I'm really honored and happy that we got this experience and we're gonna have it all throughout until I believe August, so a good month and a half uh, left. So yeah, we aren't allowed to record in there because, um, you know, just as respect to the donor and their family. So we aren't allowed to take pictures or videos. Um, and so I won't be showing any of that explicitly, but um, I will talk through it. Um, uh for the weeks to come so i hope that this was kind of some insight if you have any questions leave them down below and i'll be sure to answer them and that is it for this week i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next week bye